<laughs> well, good morning, Potter's House. I know it's still morning because I just checked the time, but it is close to noon time. But hey, this is Elder Fred Cantu and my wife Denise. Uh, just uh, going to share a word with you, share a, a word of encouragement and maybe a message of hope. Um, in uh, not sure how your week's going, but uh, just a just to lift you up and to encourage you and to strengthen you as, as we make it through this uh, work week. So, uh, good morning. Good morning to you all. Good morning. Uh, we just, uh, as, uh, as we get started, uh, we're going to just jump right into it. But uh, So, let us pray. Father, we thank you as we come together in your mighty name. We thank you, Father, for your word. We thank you, Father, for thank your Jesus. anointing. Yes, and Father, Lord, we thank you, Father, for your presence, Lord. You, so Jesus. Father, as we go forth thank in your you, word today, Father God, let thank it be you, uh, a lamp to our feet. Let it be a light to our yes. feet, Lord. And let it be uh, just a, 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 a word that just lifts us up today, Father God. So Father, we just give this day over to you. We mm -hmm. speak blessings upon the viewers. And we just thank you, Father, for all that you're doing. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. 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 Well, <clears throat> good morning. As I've already mentioned, I'm going to share with you today from uh, 2 Kings chapter 3. I got uh, a couple of scriptures and, uh, that I'm going to just share. Probably do more of uh, the preach, teach type. Probably preach. You know how I am. So anyways, uh, 2 Kings chapter 3. Uh, verse 16 is where I'm going to start at. Um, well, actually, I'll start in 15, um, and then I'll go through 18. So here we go. And it says, but now, this is Elijah speaking. Uh, he says, but now bring me musicians. Then it happened when the musicians played that the hand of the Lord came upon him. Worship, praising, giving God praise. When you do that, the hand of the Lord comes upon you. It says that in God's word, he says he enthrones upon, he, he establishes his throne upon the praises of his people. So here we see that Elijah, as he brought forth the, the musicians and they began to play, the hand of the Lord came upon him. All right. And he said, thus says the Lord, make this valley full of ditches. For thus says the Lord, you shall not see wind, nor shall you see rain. Yet the valley shall be filled with water so that you and your cattle and your animals may drink. And this is a simple matter in the sight of the Lord. Yes. He will also deliver the Moabites into your hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to stop right there. God is telling you to prepare yourself. To prepare, he's speaking to Elijah. Elijah is speaking to those that he's that he, he's a uh, uh, to the army there. He's saying because they're in a place of dryness, they're in a place of a drought, they're in a place uh, where it seems to be barren. But he says, go and prepare. He says, go and fill this valley full of ditches. And he's because what you're what you are going to expect isn't going to come the way you think it normally comes. How you think God is going to bring that deliverance, how you think God is going to bring the breakthrough isn't the normal process of how we think. He yes. says that you just fill this valley full of ditches. And he says that he says, for thus says the Lord, you will see no wind, nor you, shall you see rain. But he's going to provide. He's going to bring Amen. what you need in a time of your if, of in that time of need. He's going to bring that breakthrough. Amen. But God even says this is a simple matter for the Lord. He says this is a simple thing. So why are we fretting? Why are we in? Why are we doubting? Why are we in a position where we're feeling that God has left us? God has God has maybe forsaken us. But when God is saying, He's telling Elijah, He says, "Go and fill this valley full of ditches." And I will bring that, I will bring the provision. And it will be enough not only for you to drink, but for your cattle to drink and for you to, to have, uh, for your animals to drink. He says, I'm going to bring the abundance that you're looking for and that you need, mm -hmm. even in this time of uncertainty when you don't know where you're going to get it. Mm -hmm. God is the God Amen. of the impossible. He says, what is impossible for man, mm -hmm. it is not impossible for God. God is the God of breakthroughs. Yeah. He's the God of providence. 
provi- provision. God is the God of miracles, and he is still in the business of doing yes, miracles today. Amen. So Amen. whatever your need is, whatever your circumstance is, God is going to provide. It's not going to come the natural way that you think. It's not going to come the way that you think, oh, this is how it did it the last time. No, God may just ask you to prepare. He yes. may tell you, just get Amen. ready. Mm-hmm. Because when you get ready, then you're making provisions yeah. for that increase yeah. and for that deliverance and for that blessing to yeah. come. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Psalm 78 tells us, um, Psalm 70, I'm going to jump over there real quick. Uh, Psalm, I, I'm trying to get a lot in in, in a short amount of time because I know Denise <laughs> got a word for you too. So <laughs> uh, Psalm 78 verse 15, and it says, he split the rock. Or excuse me, I'm starting in, I meant to say 16, but I'll read 15 just so you have a picture. He split the rock in the wilderness and gave them drink in abundance like the depths. He also brought streams out of, a, out of the rock and caused water to run down like rivers. God Amen. is the God that does miracles. He's yes, the God. It's yes, not going to come the normal way that you, who would think that you can get water out of a rock? But God is, God shows us here. He says that, that he, that he brought forth water from those rocks. He brought streams out of the rock. Mm-hmm. He didn't just bring a little trickle. But he brought a stream Mm -hmm. full of water. And it says that it flowed like rivers. It ran down like rivers. So it speaks of abundance. It speaks of the increase that God is ready to bring. Mm -hmm. And it's not coming the natural way that we think. It's Mm -hmm. not coming in the the way that we anticipate. Mm -hmm. But God is bringing it through the unnatural or the the ways that we wouldn't think is impossible. Mm -hmm. Because he wants to show you that he's still God and he still is performing Mm -hmm. miracles. He's going to do it in a way that seems to be impossible. But he's the God Mm -hmm. that is the provider. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go over to Isaiah. Isaiah 43. And I know what we've shared this. I've shared this uh, 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 in times past. But I'm, what I'm speaking is God is doing some things for you and I. We, we, I know that there's prayer needs. I know that there's uh, concerns out there. But God is the God of the impossible. And he does it in, in his own way. It's not the ways that we think he's going to do it. But it's going to be in that supernatural way that he brings the, that, that blessing. Isaiah 43, verse, um, verse 18 and 19, it says, Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. I'm going to stop right there. So it's not going to be the same way that we've seen in times past, but God is going to do it in a way that, that he said, in a way that is going to be something new and something mm-hmm. different and something that's maybe unique or something that, that is, is completely unexpected. But it says, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Those places that you are at, those dry places, those places of barrenness, God is providing for you. God is going to make the way. It's not going to come in those natural ways that we think it's happened in times past, but it's going to come through the supernatural way that God will provide it. Jump over to Isaiah 48, verse 6. Isaiah 48, verse 6 and 7. This is what Isaiah 48, 6 and 7, it says, You have heard, see all this, and will you not declare it? I have made you hear new things from this time, even hidden things, and you did not know them. They are created now and not from the beginning and before this day, you have not heard of them, lest you would say, oh, of course, I knew them. See, God is, is the God of, of the miraculous. He's going to do things that you're not, that you're not I guess, uh, that we're not prepared to, to receive it. It's going to come in those unnatural ways. Well, we're, it's going to come in those, uh, those places that we would think, well, wow, how is this even happening? Mm-hmm. The, you know, maybe it's someone that 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 has had something with against you for for a while, and all of a sudden they're 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 bringing a blessing, or they're bringing a a a, 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 a something that 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 you've been seeking, or something that you've been asking God for. It's going to come in those unusual ways, but and it's not going to be a way that you're going to say, "Oh yeah, I knew it." 
I knew it. No, it's going to come in those miraculous ways. He says, I have made you hear new things. God is whispering those things yes, in your amen. ear of what you need to say, amen. what you need to speak. He says, amen. you have seen all this and have you not declared it? There's been a word that's been implanted in your heart and you've been sitting on it and kind of it's been festering him and God is kind of trying to jostle you and shake you to get you to speak it forth so that new things can come, that abundance yes. can come, amen. that breakthrough can come. Quit sitting on God's promise. Promise. Quit sitting on what he's given in, inside of you and begin to release it. He says, I'm about to do a new thing, but I yes, need you yes. and I to line up with him yes. so that Hallelujah. new thing can burst forth. Yes. Hallelujah. He needs our cooperation. Just as I mentioned from 2 Kings chapter 3, when he when Elijah said that when he called the, called the musicians, he also said, fill this valley. So he needs cooperation mm -hmm. from you and I mm -hmm. in order for that breakthrough to come. In order for that yes, blessing amen. to come, he needs you and I to be yes, in cooperation hallelujah. with him. Praise hallelujah. <laughs> I want to just be in alignment with God. I want to be in perfect alignment amen. with him. And there's going to be some things that we're going to have to shake off and let loose and let go. But when we do, we can let God be God and he can do the miraculous. Yes, he can do the things that we would think is impossible, hallelujah. but it's not impossible for him because he's the God of the breakthrough. He is the God of the the abundance. Amen. And of yes. course, when it's and in second Kings, it says, this is a simple thing mm -hmm. for the Lord. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. It's just a simple thing for him. It's not Amen. something that is difficult or something that is, is, is too hard, but he's going to do the miraculous. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Denise, I'm going to turn it over to you because I'll just keep going and going and rolling and rolling. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Well, I just Hallelujah. want to mention while um, Fred was talking about that rock and the water coming out of the rock, Jesus was the rock. He was a stone that the builders rejected. Amen. He was became our chief cornerstone. Yes. So, and it's a good example in that scripture of Jesus himself. And that water that came forth was that living water. Hallelujah. Yes, amen. When he told the, the woman um, at the well, he said, I am the live, I am the, um, you will thirst no more. Hallelujah. You will hunger and thirst no more because he was that one for us. Hallelujah. And so um, when he was talking about preparation or that breakthrough, hallelujah, sometimes we need to, in that preparation, we need to, um, to um, fast a, a meal or put some things aside and, and concentrate um, on the things of God. You know, there was a, mm -hmm. there was a time that um, there was, um, I fasted out of, out of duty or out of a religious thing. But then there was a, when I got a revelation of what um, fasting was, was to um, put the flesh aside and to begin to allow your spirit, man or woman, to come forth Amen. in a mighty way, to commune with the spirit of God, with, to Amen. commune with those eternal things. And I like in Isaiah 58, it says, is not this the fast that I have chosen to loose the bonds mm -hmm. of wickedness to undo the heavy burdens, to let the oppressed go free, and that you mm -hmm. that you break every yoke. Hallelujah. Sometimes we, we have to push our um, breakfast plate aside or, <laughs> or push a meal aside. You know, I like Amen. eating at Stan's. I like those cheeseburgers over at Stan's <laughs> and their um, chicken soup. But sometimes I got to <laughs> put them aside so I can um, get with the Lord. Amen. But it's becoming a time that I can't wait till my next um, time frame of fasting because God, that's when God releases his revelation. He releases his power. Yes. Hallelujah. Begins to tell us those things. The scripture in Isaiah 58 Eight, it says, then your light shall break forth like the morning and your healing shall spring forth speedily and your righteousness shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. So it kind of begins to shift you and set you into Amen. perspective. Hallelujah. When it says that you're the, um, the uh, another portion of scripture, it says, and your darkness shall be as the noonday in verse 10. It says, <clears throat> and so that darkness was our ignorance. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. And when God's light shines yes. upon them and begins, we begin to see that wisdom and revelation from God. Hallelujah. Amen. So Amen. I'm just, um, you know, it's, it's a, I like to fast because I like to see that breakthrough, that explosion of God's power Amen. in our life or those things that <clears throat> we've been praying about. Sometimes they need an extra boost. It's like a little power mm -hmm. boost there. If you, um, fast a meal or so. So I just want to encourage us that, that our breakthrough mm -hmm. is there. It's not even um, um, a hard thing, if you will. Hallelujah. Amen. But it's a thing of rejoicing. It's a thing of obedience unto our Lord Jesus Christ. So Amen. I praise the Lord to, today for that. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We even throw in a commercial for, for our local restaurants. How about that, huh? We won't even charge stands for that one. But hey, it's it's just, a you know what? It, the word goes forth. Yes. It goes forth mightily. It's an encouragement. It's to lift us up. It's to give us instruction. Yes. It's to give us guidance. And you know, when, when we're sharing here, you know, I, I, now I'll just speak for myself. And Denise is she's she's a wealth of, of wisdom. But for myself, sometimes I don't get a I don't get a word until I sit down here, and 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 it's like boom, the camera's on, and God just downloads it. And uh, and but that's just the goodness of God, trusting in Him, yes. believing that He is going to provide, even in the simplest mm -hmm. of things. To, to me, this is like you know, this is it should be right in our hearts, and it, it should it shouldn't be nothing that we should. Uh, be fearful to say, oh, I don't have nothing. No, it's God. All right, what do you want to do? Because it's not what Fred wants to do, but it's what God, what do you want to speak forth? What do you want to Amen. want to speak? Yeah, Cheryl, we love stands too. So, but hey, but you know, it's the word that is implanted inside Amen. of us and it's mm -hmm. us being obedient, lining ourselves up and just letting God be God and let him do the miraculous. Let him do the miracles. And, and I tell you what, I'm still a, a, a word Work in progress, but I'm thankful that God has never given up on me, mm, yeah. and that He still says I'm doing some new things in, in Him to even 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 now. And uh, so let's pray, yes. Father. We do. We thank you yes, as we Jesus. just uh, lift up this yeah. time that we have in you. Yes, we thank God. you, Father, for your word. Yes. We thank you, Father, for all that you are doing, yes. Father. That yes. is as those that have heard this message, yes, those that have heard this word, yes. Father. They begin to prepare themselves to receive all yes. of what you yes. have for yes. for them today, Father God. Whether it's yes. a, a breakthrough, whether yes. it's yes. a healing, yes. whether it's yes. a deliverance, yes. whether whatever it is, Father yes. God, yes. you yes. are Jesus. going to provide yes. because you. You said this is a simple thank thing you, for the Lord. Hallelujah. And so, Father, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Even it is, as they go forth, Father, if, if, if they decide mm -hmm. to fast a meal, Father, give them the strength. Give them the guidance. Give them the wisdom, yes, Father amen. God, into how and when to yes. do it, Father. So, Father, Hallelujah. we bless every hearer today yes, and every Jesus. viewer today. Mm -hmm. Father, we thank you, Father, for your goodness. And we thank you, Father, for all that you're doing. And we give Hallelujah, you the praise Jesus. in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we speak to the breakthrough today. Mm, Father, you, we yes. burst forth those mm -hmm. things, Father, that yes. need to be birthed out, that need to be um, mm -hmm. uh, moved out, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. And even just like the dam is breaking and the water mm -hmm. is flooding <laughs> and flourishing <laughs> forth, we speak Thank that you, into Lord. the li lives yes. of those listening in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. Your word promises. Your word doesn't mm -hmm. lie. It says it's forever settled in heaven. Hallelujah. So we speak it forth in the earth yes, in Lord. Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We loose thank it you, forth Lord. in the mm -hmm. earth in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And we thank, thank you, you, Father. Jesus. Hallelujah. For your mighty power, your mm -hmm. mighty works. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, today yes. in Jesus' name. Jesus, Jesus mighty, name. mighty name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Wow. What an encouraging word. What a what an uplifting word. Mm -hmm. And uh we just want to thank you again for just tuning in, listening and and just watching. Um and uh, uh we just want your your remainder of your week to be uh fruitful, yes. be blessed Amen. and uh be have the increase of the Lord in all that you do. So, hey, we look forward to seeing you on Sunday. We'll we'll see you guys again next week uh same time same place <laughs> have a great day have a great rest of the week bye-bye